He was caught on camera knocking a guy out cold during a fight downtown, and now he's facing more trouble. It appears his temper got the best of him again. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen was in Metro Court this afternoon where that man faced a judge. Jeannie? Jessica Jewett Oliver made a number of requests to the judge when he stand before him here this afternoon, but he refused to talk to our camera. It was Christmas Eve when Albuquerque police say Jewed Oliver walked into this Circle K on Central and Wyoming with his Bluetooth speakers blaring. APD says a security guard asked Oliver to turn it down. He refused and started to cuss out the guard. At that point, the guard told police Oliver came at him in a threatening way, so he pepper sprayed him. The guard pressed charges. Looks like you've been charged with an assault, which is an attempted battery. Months before that, police say Oliver was part of this massive brawl in downtown Albuquerque. Boom, boom, boom. We had to blur his face because he was never charged in that fight. Police did catch up with him a month later and arrested him, not for the fight, but for a probation violation. It's a misdemeanor that you're on probation and parole with? Yeah, for aggravated battery against my 17-year-old daughter. Even before the downtown brawl and before the incident at the Circle K, Oliver was arrested last January for hitting his teenage daughter with a flashlight. Today, Oliver faced Judge Henry Alaniz for the Circle K incident. I would suggest you plead not guilty to the charge, but how do you plead? Not guilty, sir. And when Judge Alaniz released him and ordered pretrial services, Oliver didn't want to hear that. I would like to ask if you not put me on pretrial. I'm currently on probation right now for a misdemeanor charge, and I have a, a job, full-time job, okay. and I leave the county. Despite his violent pass, Judge Alaniz agreed with Oliver's request and released him. Stand by. Oliver still has not been charged in connection with the fight downtown. We tried to ask APD about that case, but we did not get an answer. Now, I tried to ask Oliver for an interview, but he told me he wasn't happy about this story and he had to think about it. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thank you, Jeannie. We also asked APD why the officer never collected the security video from the Circle K incident for evidence, but that question was also not answered.